going on YouTube? How's things going? Hopefully everyone's having a good Wednesday evening. Sales, hopefully sales were good for everybody. Um, all I've been doing is listing. Uh, I sold a bunch today. Um, what else? A couple returns come in. Uh, a lot go out. So I think I just had over 10 sales today. Let's just double check. But uh, yeah, it was a good day today. So let's use in the chat. So we get this flips, Gail. Donna, Adam, Four Oaks, Demir, Zero One Wolf. Glad everyone could join. Uh, hold on, sorry, I'm checking how many I sold today. Today, I felt like it was a big sell, uh, big sales day. I had a ton roll in. Hopefully, everyone else had sales today. Um, people were kept coming in with best offers. Just a couple items I had. Um, I did receive one of my, my last liquidation lot I had come in. So I'm going to go through that here shortly. Mm, no, nothing big. No big stories yet so far. Uh, I had someone keep, keep trying to talk me down from my price after I told him four or five times that I wasn't lowering it yet. It was one of the computer parts that I had. So that thing sold for 45 It was a, one of the lighting kits. Nick says, so my customer paid me today for my first ever sale. I created the shipping ladle after I dropped it off. After I drop it off at the post office in the morning, what is the next step? Nothing. List more. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're good. Uh, maybe you leave feedback for the, the, the buyer once they get it. But yeah, four oaks, four to five sales on Amazon toys. Uh, from Amazon toys have started flying off the shelves. Wow, yeah, a lot of stuff are starting to go uh, sell. I don't know if it's just the time of year. Adam says get a receipt. Yes, so if you shipped it, uh, if you did get a receipt from the shipping. Otherwise, I mean, I don't get receipts. I just drop them off. Um, I sold another baby item today, so a lot of those in baby inserts are finally selling. Ten. Ten sales today. Uh, I had a couple auto boxes sell. I had a weird uh, theater planetarium that I found in one of my boxes. I sold that for sixty nine dollars. Uh, I sold a phone for eighty, which is I've had up for probably almost a year, eight months, if that. So that sold finally. Someone paid for their ink the other day with the best offer. They took a while, and I sold a uh, Away Fit Smart Fitness Watch. H U A W E I. There's an issue with the reader on the back of the smartwatch. It uh, it was cracked, so I sold that for forty five. They retail for probably I thought it was like eighty or ninety. They probably could sell for probably 80 or 70, depending on how uh, new they were. So I was glad to get rid of it. Destiny took a best offer. Scott L. $927 in sales today from Amazon. Awesome. My lens came back, but the uh, buyer, I think, put signature on it. So I didn't get it today. I got to figure out. I got to message them to see how I'm going to get it. <laughs> Just because... Uh, um, I'm not going to be home during the day, so I wonder how they're going to drop it off. And I don't know if it was United or Postal Service just because I did not get like uh, a letter or something on my door saying either come pick it up or sign for it. Destiny says, did I ever figure out the out-of-box problem? So the other, I think it was a couple of videos ago, and I thought Demir said out-of-box would replace your broken out-of-boxes for you. Uh, so it sounds like I'll have to pay $6 for each shipment that I open. Uh, I just want to make sure that was correct and how I did it. I have not done that yet. I went through and started the process, but I did not complete it. So, Destiny, no, I didn't complete it yet. Oh, I guess I would just have to complete the process, pay the $6, and ship it out. Four Oaks, $1,400 on Amazon. Nice. 
Oh yeah. So Nick, it, if you're a new account, PayPal is going to hold on to the money until I thought it was, was it 21 days? I, I'm, I could be running the number. They hold it because you're new. They're going to wait to show that it's been, the tracking has been delivered. So, but yeah, just wait for the, the selling period. It should say on your account, Benji took a best offer waiting for payment. Yeah, that's a crappy part about taking best offers. I have a couple best offers, 21 days. Yeah, so I was right. 21 days to wait if you're a new uh, seller to get your money uh, on that item. So the other thing I want to talk about was the differences. I see a lot of people talk about, you know, do thrifting versus liquidation. I think it would be cool. I, you, uh, you see everyone doing these thrifting battles, or whatever they want to call it. Um, I from what, forget what else they call it. But it's where two people go out and they pick what they think are the best items from the store. And uh, they go back and forth about who had the best items that they think will sell them, uh, that will sell and how much money they'll get. So what I wish they would do was not only do that, but go a step further and say, okay, here's what actually sold. Or even put a time frame on it. Put like a... Put a month on it and say, okay, here's what sold within the month, and this is the winner. So you have the first hypothetical winner, and then you have the actual winner. Thrift off. There you go. Um, so if you think about, okay, let's look at the liquidation side. If uh, we could have the same thing where multiple people go in and they say, okay, here's the liquidation lot I won or I purchased. This is what my expected payoff in is. Here's the winner. And then a step further and saying, okay, here's what I sold it for. And here's the actual hard dollars I got from doing that. So that'd be kind of cool to do. That was kind of a sidebar I kind of want to talk about. If anyone's interested in that, I don't know what we'd call it. Uh, liquidation off or liquidation battle. I don't know. Um, wholesale battle. True, just because you say the resale is 200, how long will it take to sell? Right. I mean, I could go out there and say, you know, this off-brand smartwatch, oh, I'll get 50 bucks for this. I listed for 50, and then I never make my 50 on it. Did I really win? But the other kind of the main thing I wanted to do is, uh, okay, what are the similarities and what are the differences between thrifting and liquidation or, whole, or buying a wholesale lots of product, right? I mean, I guess one of the main differences, and I guess it's this is case by case, but I'm kind of talking high level, uh, capital, right? So capital between the two is a lot different. So it, it takes a while for, uh, or it takes a lot of money, if depending on the condition of the items that you're going to buy, you're going to need a, a lot more money potentially in a liquidation purchase versus a thrift purchase. Uh, so if you're buying shelf pulls, if you're buying... Uh, returns or salvage your price is going to fluctuate you're paying for the condition of the item at that point or you got it for a steal versus thrifting i mean you know how much you're going to get each item for you know if there's going to be any sales on the item and you could pay uh you have significant less capital investment depending on how much you're going to buy um it's and it's also quality versus quantity so if you think about liquidation, I can spend X amount of dollars and I can get, as I'm going to show you here shortly, I can get a whole box full of items. I didn't have to go anywhere. So you could look at time and money. I saved a ton of time. I went on the website, purchased something, and I got, I received 40 items and it didn't take me long. Yeah, Adam says 99% of the items at a thrift store are used. True. So the condition, right? Condition could be the same, but you know the quality and quantity of the items are going to be different based on what type of item you're going to purchase for each one. You could also argue though that to an extent they're kind of the same, right? I'm getting used items uh, in both scenarios, but my capital and potentially types of product or condition of product will be a little different. Thrift store, I know what I'm getting. I'm putting my hands on it. I'm I can test it to an extent. Whereas when I'm getting online, it's going to be a little harder for me to test. I mean, once I get it, I get it. I mean, again, you have to go through the process of testing it and potentially shipping it back. But 
I mean, I think liquidation outweighs thrifting just because of the time and the quantity of stuff coming in. So I think that's that's a definite pro, and at least in my case, I would rather spend my time uh, testing and because uh, I already know what I'm getting. And if I don't like it, I go on to the next lot or next auction or a different website. You're, you're really driving online versus driving out in the, in the open. But I could see the other side too of, of, of thrifting, right? Thrifting, the, the thrill of going out there, going into the store, the unknown of finding something that, uh, you know, is worth a lot of money. Finding something that you're not looking to, to find. Scott L says, I wouldn't touch salvage, no resale potential. Uh, Demir says, liquidation is mostly used, salvage, really new items. No way to touch salvage. See, I would touch salvage just because, so in the liquidation side of it, you'll pay less for salvage. You have the potential to have a big turn, a big uh, profit on a salvage lot. Um, depending on how handy you are, your profit could go up or down. But again, the less capital, the more risk. Because I could buy a salvage lot, I can make a ton of money on it. Or the same scenario, I could buy a salvage lot and lose everything. It could be complete junk. But if I'm buying a salvage lot for parts, then does it matter? So if, I don't know if you saw the post on the PS101 group where uh, there was a, a seller on eBay. They were buying salvage TVs. And what they were doing was they made a whole business of parting the TVs out. Selling the motherboard, selling the um, the remote, selling the cords, selling everything within the TV. I mean, thinking outside the box, right? That's liquidation and that's salvage. Uh, so you can turn, you can make any condition into a profit. It's how you look at it. Or, I mean, granted, you're gonna have the scenarios where a salvage lot, you cannot make anything on it, no matter what, it, if it's a type of item, right? But, I mean, people are taking salvage stuff, either they're fixing it, parting it out, making it work. Yeah, Destiny said I would buy salvage on items that I know sell for parts. <laughs> Adam says Demir's a riverboat gambler. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, I mean, then you look at the thrifting side. Um, you're really, you're at the mercy of what's in the store. You could drive around all day and find nothing. Or you can drive around all day and find junk, and you're in the same salvage boat, right? You're taking a chance on certain items, but that's at a onesie twosie level. Uh, I feel for the thrifting side, there's more uh, physical exertion that you have to do to get your product. If you think about bins, if you think about driving around, think about going to different stores, um, actually going out and finding the stuff. That's where a lot of the work comes in. And I'm not, I'm not bashing that. I'm just saying that's a lot of work. And then some people like it. Some people love going out and, and finding the stuff at the thrifting stores, going to multiple stores, and then going back again the next day. Uh, that's a lot of work. I've, I went in there, and my head spun. <laughs> so it, it's, it's, there's a lot of learnings on both sides. But, I mean, that's, kinda, that's, that's the thrill of both sides, the thrill of the unknown, the thrill of what you're getting. I just like for uh, higher, way higher margins for thrift, Left Hook Larry says. So, I mean, I'd say it depends, right? I mean, if you, if you watched uh, Stephen Steph's channel today, they went to Savers, and in their store, a lot of the good stuff, they the store had already priced way out of the, the thrifting bucket. They had shoes selling for 50 bucks. And granted, you can have other Savers that sell those same shoes for $5. So it all depends what you find. But I agree, there's probably potential for higher margins depending on the store, depending on the, the item in the store and what you're getting. Uh, you could buy shirts for a quarter and sell them for 10. That might, there's your margin right there. That's a high margin versus buying a shirt for eight and selling for 10. So Scott else is going out to do RA is the fun part. Yeah, I definitely could see the fun and the unknown, right? So same with liquidation, the fun of the unknown is opening the box and it's all junk or it's something super great. My store is jumping in a box. 
I guess if you want to look at it that way, right? Nick says, finally got my liquidation account set up today, ready to start buying. Awesome. Uh, if you do, if uh, you win, or yeah, I haven't seen a comment. I think I've only seen about five people comment below or in general on any video. Uh, just comment to be entered into the drawing on Saturday and you could win a discount. Adam says, antique people can do well. I have trouble finding profitable clothes. Yep, thrift, thrift stores are using eBay pricing quite often now. Yeah, so some stores, they are pricing it themselves out of the water. So, and you get, I mean, people doing it to themselves on liquidation.com. We talked about the other night. There's a ton of great lots out there, but people are putting them way, the lot price is way out of the, the, the realm of making any money. So that's no different than the thrift store, right? People are bidding the lots up to be, have every item up to retail, which is crazy. Um, and that's kind of, sorry, the same thing, right? So it's almost two of the same philosophies and two different mediums, thrifting and liquidation. You're still, you're still doing the same thing. You're just doing it in, in different buckets. But it's all what you like to do, and but I think the best thing in that scenario is diversify. Don't stick in one bucket. Don't stick in one liquidation bucket, and don't stick in one thrifting bucket. I mean, if you're doing thrifting, do garage sales, do the stores, do RA, do OA. Uh, liquidation, you know, don't just stick to liquidation.com. Look at Blue Lots. Look at all the, some of the people that we've had on here. Build those relationships in the PS101 group to find those liquidation uh, stuff, liquidation lots or wholesale lots. Um, and you can find products or one eBay bucket. Yep. <laughs> uh, I saw one liquidation lot. MSRP was 1500 and the lot was sold for 1200 Yeah, that's crazy. Only if the, the items were brand new, but still, that's a lot of an, a risk and investment on one lot. I learned when I got into sales that you put dollars in the bank, not margin markups. Yep. Nick, glad you joined the PS11 group. There's a ton of stuff in there. So, yeah, I just say, I mean, the best benefit for you is to, to diversify across everything. So that's what I want to do. I, I kind of like thrifting. That's kind of where I started in a way. I used to go into Goodwill just for fun and find a couple things and resell them, but I like liquidation just because I can up the amount of items that I'm getting at one time. Demir says liquidation lots are getting overbid lately. Yeah, it's tough for me to find a 200 lot. Chris, can't wait till you start FBA and hear what you think about it. So Scott L., I went on there at the bottom where it says how you want to – I've seen screenshots and I looked at it before. Every type of item I click on, there is no FBA option at the bottom. So I'm guessing it's just Merchant Fulfilled on every item for me until January. Is that true? Uh, so the other thing is I'm off. I'm off my daytime job next week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some videos out. I'm going to go to that thrift store again that I talked about I did, and I'm going to spend a little more time because I'll be by myself. And I will try the thrifting bucket, and I will see – uh, how many items I can get for what price? Where's the wrench? She didn't say hi. <laughs> oh, Adam, she gave you the cold shoulder. Yeah, after Christmas, there's going to be some good liquidation lots. I agree there. Hey, AJ, how's it going? So, but the other con to liquidation is you can get a whole lot of crap. Adam says, working for a vacation. Yep. So what I've done, I'm off all next week. Uh, I have it. I've wrote, I've wrote down everything I want to do every day. So I'm going to do videos. I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get everything listed and tested, and uh, uh, make more videos. Go go live a couple times, and uh, kind of work it a little more. Kind of pretend like this is my full time job and see what I could do. 
So I'll, I'll have a couple of videos of, okay, if, if I were to do this full time, this is how I would do it. D green, what's your daytime job? So what I do daytime is I manage and negotiate contracts for, uh, we're a wholesale distributor of anything medical, pharmaceutical stuff. So I manage transportation contracts and negotiate rates. I make sure our contracts are in compliance, work with our vendors, uh, manage metrics, KPIs. So a lot of relationship building with external stuff. So it's fun. It uh, just means that no one has sent in that item. Really? Because every Scott says, so when I, for example, I pulled up a random book on FBA in the seller. And uh, what I do is um, I went in there, I pulled in the item, and I said, sell one now. But what I've seen other people do when they showed their FBA videos is at the bottom it could say, I want to ship and sell this myself, or I want Amazon to ship and sell it for me. That option is not there anywhere. Wholesale medical supplies on Amazon, big money. Oh, yeah. They've been on our radar, our company's radar. I don't know if you saw my video the other day. You can kind of put together probably where I work. But uh, we're, we wholesale all that stuff. So, yeah. So I have this whole list. Uh, pull it up here. So today, while I was in a meeting, I was going through and making notes of what I'm going to be doing next week and what I pull it up to take forever. So here's my uh, here's my list, and I'm kind of or this is kind of just what I started to think about. I don't know if you can kind of see. Yeah, so there's my list, and I'm going to break it down into to time buckets and just do it and time frames to say this is what I have to do. Uh, I'm going to work on thrifting and liquidation at the same time, and I'll kind of bring you guys along as I do it. Uh, Adam says I had a problem with the medical supply companies and the home health coordinator at the hospital. Lots of yeah, lots have been going real high. It's crazy. I can't. I have not found a lot for under two fifty like I used to be doing. Everyone else has been bidding them way too high. Scott L switched to inventory lab for Amazon listing. Left hook Larry wants to be entered. Well, just leave a comment on one of the videos. Uh, I think there's uh. Gail entered, uh, Roland Pickers in. I'll make a list who's in, but maybe I'll pin. I'll pin. So that's what I do. I'll pin the entries in the Facebook group uh, to let you know who's entered in, into the discount drawing for Saturday. Have you ever thought about going to the swap meets out there? I've looked at swap meets as in terms of resale. I have a yearly. Uh, Garage sale, that's what you call it, yard sale, that we do in our neighborhood. So I, I save a lot, a lot of stuff to sell there. Uh, I've looked at booths, but I don't think there's a booth around me to do. Um, and swap meets, I'd have to look specifically for swap meets. I know there is, um, I think it is a swap meet type where you pay for a space. I've looked at that. I That's all I've done. I've looked at it. I haven't pulled the trigger. Yeah, Amazon kills the brick and mortar. Yeah, Adam. Kitty Lucero got two lots today. Nice. So, yeah, that's like, I mean, kind of where the differences are. I mean, I'm going to try and plan those differences between the two next week, thrifting and liquidation, and see what comes out on both, right, and what makes the most sense. And for me, I mean, I don't have the time to go to the thrifting stores uh, to get everything put on my doorstep. And it's in one nice little box for me to go through. That's easy for me. And what I do, if I had more time, and it, again, you probably would have higher margins. Or I, I'd have higher margins if I did thrifting. Uh, so the amount of product in one box is what drives me to liquidation. But, I mean, that's fine for me because I get to come to the basement and test it all. Um, and then take returns on it. <laughs> so uh yeah but i'll go through the box all right so let's answer some questions and see what you guys are doing uh so scott has says when do you plan on delving into fba more so when i go i would i mean uh i'm looking at it now 
on the FBA side and trying to see what products I can move to that way. I just need to make sure, I want to know when I can start selling FBA and start sending stuff in because I don't have that option when I go on the website. Flea markets, swap meets in Ohio. I think it's a flea market, yeah. You're right. It might be flea market. Or swap meet, whatever you want to call it. I know there's one. You pay like $25 to get a... a Table layout for the weekend. Something like that. I have to look into it. Wolf says, I don't have time to go to thrift stores, but I miss it. Uh, does anyone have any luck with shelf pulls? Well, I've never bought shelf pulls. I guess it depends on the seller. I've heard of both sides of good and bad of shelf pulls. Someone will claim a shelf pull is a shelf pull, but it's not. Um, but... Destiny says, I'm slowing down my buying and reselling. I'm going to revamp my sourcing and methods. Start off January being better. That's a good That's a good plan, Destiny. I'd like to hear what you do. Make sure you know when your packages will be delivered. A lot of porch stealing lately. That is true. I have a doorbell camera, so I get every clip saved of everyone who comes on my porch. Not that that would help with my packages not disappearing, but Scott says, I have. Oh, with shelf pulls. All right. So, show what I got. My track dots for shelf pulls sold 13 of 30 so far. Nice. Chris, with Amazon, you're going to be facing a lot of restrictions. Yeah, I know that. Uh, I'm thinking books. And this is, I haven't really looked at it yet. Books, CDs, game, used games. Um, so, I, I yeah, I know I have to look at restrictions. And invoices and all that. So, Zero One Wolf says, I buy a lot of shelf poles. Most are good condition, but last season I did get one lot that had mold from sitting, got wet. Darren says, I do well to swap me in San Diego. Yeah, I mean, again, that swap me for me is time. Time on the weekends. Usually a lot of time on the weekends I spend with the kids doing stuff around the house. So it'd be a lot of effort and time for me to get all my stuff out of here and uh, down to the swap meet. Now, if I had a place where I could just drop it off and have it sell throughout the week and someone manage that for me, I could do that. But the thought of me lugging my product elsewhere is would be tough, at least unless I found a different way to do it. So let's see. Let you know what I bought this lot for. So I bought this lot for uh, 348 so another big one. Uh, after Amazon fees, I get $33 back. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, I definitely need to look at liquidation. Or not liquidation, FBA. But if it's, if it's January 10th, oh, if it's January 10th and... Um, is that if can you confirm that Scott L is it January 10th on all items that are FBA not merchant filled I know I can do merchant fulfilled now but uh, speaker a pile speaker a lot of the pile stuff's pretty good I sell a lot of pile mechanical push pull dynometer So Scott L, is that everything? FBA is restricted at the moment for new buy new sellers at the moment. Look at this. Do you think anyone would ever buy this landline phone that's corded? Uh by clock, probably with no key. Kryptonite keeper. Oh, that's the same item. So, I don't know if there's a key in here. That sucks. There is no key for this item. Maybe it's in the box somewhere. See, Scott, you see just in toys, but it's really weird. All right, hold on. Let me pull this up. I'm going to pull this up and show you. So, if I go to my FBA home, and I go to my Seller Central... So what is one item you think I would not be restricted in that I could bring a seller to FBA?
Someone throw an item out there and I'll look it up. Uh, books, a book or something. Let's do that. If I pull up a book, I go to catalog, add, add products, and I'm going to type in something. Let's type in, uh, all right, hold on. Does anyone have some? I've never gotten a lock on that work turn lock. Yeah, try Canon Toner. Okay. So if I go Canon Toner, see, there you go. All right, hold on. Let me go back. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Or CDs. All right, so let's do this. I'm going to share my screen. Share my screen just so you guys can see. Application window. There you go. Share. All right. So if I go here, I go to, I typed in Canon Toner. I got this here, original toner cartridge, new condition, it says I'm not approved, but if I go here, new condition, sell my own, let's sell yours now. Shouldn't there be something down here that says FBA? It doesn't say FBA. That's all it says is I can sell it. It looks like it's just merchant fulfilled only. Is that the case? Or if I go to CDs and I do... I don't know. Taylor Swift. Oops. CD. Listing limitations. There's none. None for music, at least. So I'd have to request approval there. So nothing's there. I mean, what? You have to price first. Click on listing restrictions. All right, so let me see. Let me just pull something out here. I have to price first. What does that mean? Click on listing restrictions. So you want me to go back to the ink? Listing. Listing limitations. It sounds like I have to request approval for a lot of stuff. But even where it says sell yours, if I hit put my price, put my quantity in, save and finish. Okay. I hit save and finish. Okay. So it does not give me the option for FBA. So I don't know where I just added it to. <laughs> but, yeah. If you had the Amazon seller app, I put the price in, nothing happened. Been selling on Amazon for 10 years. Too many restrictions and problems now. But I'm going to a SD. I try to find a manufacturer and they'll give me a letter of approval to sell their products. Yeah, so I think all my stuff is... It's not giving me that option even when I put price in there. All right, so yeah, that's not working. Not sure if I'm doing it right, but that's where I need to need approval to sell in category, and then there are restrictions. Yep. Hey, redneck, what's up? A couple of computer speakers. This is pretty neat. I'm guessing it won't work. LCD, Samsung Gear Wireless. Sold that a long time ago. I think I sold it for about 30 bucks. But I'm thinking that's why I'm not seeing the sell FBA, just because I have to wait until January 10th, is my guess. So these things are pretty cool. Uh, I think I did get this from Vegas, so none of these have the manifest stickers on it. And these things sell pretty well. Anything Eton, E-T-O-N, uh, they sell really well. 
These I've sold one of these before. I forget what I sold it for, but uh, these are pretty durable. I've never had one not work. Watch this one not work. But uh, I usually sell that pretty well. Chris, try this speaker. So try this here. Is that what you want me to try, Demir? All right, let's do this. So I do Eton. All right, let's, let me share again. So if I share. So I go to add a product, right? So Eton run dig. So I have to click add a new product, right? Here it is. Run dig G400. Sell yours, right? Is that what I'm going to click on? So I go here. I put my quantity one. Put my price. Let's just say 55 bucks. Look at that sales rank. Not too bad, right? And that's it. And I hit condition. Used acceptable. So it does not have an option for me to click sell FBA. I'm trying to pull the chat up on my phone because I can't see anything. I click on the advanced view. All right, so if I click the advanced view, so quantity, handling time, restock date. Oh, there we go. I want Amazon to ship. And provide customer service so you have to go to advanced view to do that that's strange all right so if that's the case right all right there it is so yeah it's right there um then i click fba save and finish and then i'd add it okay so that works but I didn't see that before. So price, date, all that start stuff. But yeah, Amazon sales rank at 97,000. Rundig Edition Mini. I think that's the same. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, Mini. Eton Mini. So. Okay. Thanks, Demir. <laughs> Yeah, Demir got it working. I appreciate it. That's funny. Uh, all right, so let's go back here. Chris, if you're listing an item that is already in Amazon, then you just piggyback in the listing. All right, so that's another thing. What I'm going to do is when I get that up, and, so would you recommend, let's say I were to sell this here, would you recommend I polybag it? So like little electronics like this, polybag the electronics, slap that FBA sticker on the polybag? Is that how that would work if it's loose and uh, open video games and CDs and all that? If I let's say I have the approval to sell that type of stuff, would you recommend I polybag it or plastic wrap it? I guess. Demir says I would. Okay, this stuff sells. I still have one now, but uh, this looks like. Everything's in it. So this can and stuff that sells the box is kind of beat up. Just put that in the listing. Bubble wrap and poly bag. Yeah, you'd have to list it as used good. Yeah, that's the other thing. I gotta look at all the conditions and make sure you select the right conditions. Uh bear dynamic. It's what I was one of the top items on the manifest. Those sell for I forget. I if it's the same pair, they sell for about eighty to hundred bucks. Adam has a good question. Do you need to have suffocation warnings on the poly bags? I thought you did. Survivor Philippines. Who would watch this on DVD? Unless you're on the show. It's the whole lot. It's the whole disc in here. It's pretty new. Survivor Philippines. That's a first. Oh, this is one of the other higher priced items too. iRobot battery. XL Life. 
I sold my broken Barrow Dynamics for seventy. Yeah, that sells does sell well. Scott L, I buy my poly bags with a suffocation warning on there. Yep, poly bag with bubble wrap. Okay, so put the bubble wrap around it, poly bag it. But will they won't they have to verify that the unit matches what's in the poly bag if they can't see it through the bubble wrap? Uh. Ooh, wireless transmitter. Uh, I don't know. Wireless blood pressure monitor. That should do well. I sold a blood pressure monitor before that had the, the cuff on it. So that stuff sells. And the Apple. So these Apple cords, uh, I can't test these just because I don't have that type of computer. But double check. A lot of the writing, even if the Apple symbol's on it, make sure the writing and everything is on there so it's not a fake unit. Uh, and on the side here, this says MagSafe 2, so you should be all right. 60 watt. Hey, Carol. So this is a rechargeable battery or Apple battery charger. That's new. I've never seen one of those. Headphones. Some labels that aren't on it. That's really strange. So another one of those, um, I sold this for, I think it was $35. This is another security Amcrest 1080p. These things say they're worth about 70, 80 bucks on the manifest. Just double check that it works, and I think you'll get at least 50 if you can get it to work. Just got back from dumpster diving. Wow. Did you find anything? Nick sold his Snow White and Seven Doors figurines for $800. That's awesome. A grasshopper landed in Zero One Wolf's printer. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. A lot of the Apple stuff, a lot of the Apple products here, so that's pretty good. A lot of this stuff, so I think this lot will be pretty, do me pretty well. Some headphones, wired headphones. Uh, they appear to mimic Beats, but I don't think they are. Micro Party. So they look like little streamers or something. No idea what those are. Only started diving past the first week, five below in Michaels. I did quick videos of the junk I got. I'll have to check that out. Sound Magic Workstation Software. This looks really weird to me. Looks off brand. Equalizer technology. I think there's a disc in there. Uh, Ah, here's what I wanted. All day. $59. Uh, so this said Apple Magic Mouse 2. Double check. They are it's the 2 and not the 1. So these Apple, I recently, not recently, maybe a month or a couple of months ago, I had the manifest say Apple 2. Someone had swapped it out for an Apple One. This is, I believe, so this is good. And double check, they have the model number on the back. This is the Apple Two, I believe, because the Apple One has the uh, the batteries that go on the bottom. I'll just double check, you can charge this with the lightning cord, and uh, it should be able to pair with any type of computer. So that's great. I'm glad that I got the two finally when it said it was a two. Oh, and I am getting a record player. So my parents are coming here for Thanksgiving. Uh, I had a record player and an eight track player at my house that I had growing up. So they're going to bring it. I'm going to be able to test all my LPs. 
So here's notebook, which is really weird. But we'll take it. Probably give it to the kids to play with. Chris, I got a TrendNet dual band wireless access point sells on eBay for 36. They sold mine for 78. Wow. Higher margin on Amazon than eBay. That's awesome. Chris, you sell the high-end electronics, and I'm in the dumpsters. <laughs> yeah, all the Apple items can't be sold on Amazon. I'm assuming they couldn't due to restrictions. So when I do get my first FBA shipment ready, I will video it. POE adapter, I think those sell pretty well. For those to show as high high-end. So yeah, this box is looking pretty well, pending testing, but uh, I have no idea what this is. Something in a bag. I'll check that later. Samsung Blu-ray player. Yep. The only thing I hate about DVD players is testing them. Testing them sucks to me. I have five regular DVD players and two Blu-rays I need to test. I absolutely hate it. That's probably the one of the worst things I hate testing is DVD players. What's this? So this is uh, Bright Pockets. Great for books, bulleted boards, library games, and more. No idea what this is. Uh, looks like you stick them on the inside of the book. So that is going to be probably go to good, or Goodwill. Be sure to include the wire for the wireless device. Yeah, Destiny, I saw that you posted. That was awesome. What happened with that case, by the way? With your, You had a buyer that wanted to return something for wireless that they didn't have the wire for. Phone, the Panasonic phones do pretty well. Oops, strip some of the sink. Uh, inventor of the handshake grip. No idea what this is. Oh, it's uh, it's one of the weird mice that are. I don't know if you can see, it's a, it's a mouse that you hold like this, which is strange to me, but people buy it. So this lot should not be an issue. You can test your records while you are listing on eBay. Yeah, kill two birds with one stone. That would be oh look at this, two. I forgot I had two in this lot. So this is going to be a great lot. I think I got it for a great price. Did I say three fifty eight? All in, all day. List these quantity two, and I can't open it. Oh, records are coming back. Oh, look at that. So this is another one. Perfect. That's the cord and everything. Money, 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 money. Take it. Take it, take it. Looks like an off-brand USB-C cord. Almost done. So look at this. Another record. Bam. This is... MYL Oxy Oto. Just to show you, there it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it on the record player. I'm going to test probably three spots in the record and uh, make sure it plays. I'm not going to listen to the whole thing, but I'm going to listen just a couple to a little bit, make sure it at least plays. And then uh, sell it and say it's fine. I have a bunch of these already. Add to the listing. Oh, service pen. Those sell well too. Man, this is a clean lot. I am really surprised with this box. Anchor cable. 
a lot of these UPS labels in here. Hey, hold on, I'll open that one next. Let me just put this box down. A phone case. That's it. Last item is this Netgear Belkin Conserve Socket Power Timer. Yeah, this is a good lot, especially listen to zero one says listen to the whole thing. You know how long I'll be here? You know how many records I have now? I have a ton. No way I'd be listening to all the records. I'd be here all day listening to the records. Plus half the stuff I don't even think I want to listen to. Ah, here we go, Belkin. So it looks there's plastic down on the face. I will plug it in and make sure it works. Otherwise, should be good to go. Yeah. Bundle them. Got three records and records in my la last lot. Dozens of records now, I guess. Yeah, I'd be here all day listening to records if I did that. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, bad box last week, good box this week. Yep. That's right, Darren. You got to keep trying. If it's a bad lot, make your money, move on, move to the next lot, keep buying. Same with thrifting, right? You have a bad day, you can't go not. You can't not go out the next day. Go out the next day, find the find the stuff, and sell. Um. Yeah. So just got move to the next day. So start testing this. Listen to some of it. But if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, make sure to comment to enter for the uh, Adam. Yes, I will turn that on. Looks like the Lakers game is on. So if you want to enter for the discount for this Saturday, make sure you comment on the video. Any video, actually. Leave one comment or multiple comments if you want. You'll be entered. I will pin in our Facebook group what uh, the users who are entered. Now add to it as you enter. Uh, okay, yeah, like the video, thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And uh, Nick, I'm glad we can help. That's what we're here for. Make that money and help each other out. Scott L, three good boxes so far. Two items covered the whole lot. Yeah, so these two items, yeah, I should be good. This lot will be perfect. Um, keeping, uh, make sure you have the little bell hit because I'm gonna have more videos coming out once I'm off next week. I'll have I'll show more of what I'm doing. Uh, I want to start gathering stuff up for FBA, show you guys how to do it. Scott L., the Facebook group is linked below. If you go in the description, it says Facebook group, and then you click on that link, and it'll bring you to it. <laughs> yeah, Adam, hit the notification bell. Perfect. Uh, what did I miss? Did I miss anything? Discount code drawn for you guys. Um, I'm going to keep looking at liquidation lots, see what I get. But keep buying and reselling. I'm going to have to list 10 things tonight, and I will have more videos for you guys that you know what I'm up to. And I love hearing from you guys, so comment below. Facebook group, love to hear from you. Hear what's going on and help each other out. Thanks again, and we will talk to you tomorrow. See ya.